Okay, so here we are trying to demonstrate the master and the slide master and what they do in PowerPoint. So I am going to open up one of the files that you're probably pretty familiar with, this First Choice Travel Vacation in Cancun. And as you can see, it has a template that's called Blue Ocean, a design template. So I'm going to go ahead and and change the title master and the slide master. The one that the title master will change is this first choice travel, this first slide. To change the master, I go to view master, slide master. And now you'll see over here on the left in this pane, I see the master title and the content slide master. Okay, so I'm going to go into the title one. And the first thing I'm going to do here is get rid of this layout entirely because I don't like it. Um, I could try just to change the picture on this, because, but because this is a built-in picture in PowerPoint, I know that the picture I want to put in isn't going to look very well. It's going to try to assume this blue hue, and that's not what I want. So I'm just going to um, get rid of this design entirely and right now it's the ocean one and I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna do the default design template and this is going to get rid of my type map title slide entirely so I'm still in the master I want to do a title one I can go in this insert new title master in the slide master view toolbar and now as you can see I have a master title and e default design slide master. If I go and view all my slides right now, you'll see that they now just have this basic template. Okay, so let's go again. I'm back in master view and I'm going to um, add a picture to the background of this. In order to add a picture to the background, I'm going to right click and go to background. You can also access this under the format menu. Under background I'm going to go to fill effects and here I want to use a picture. I'm going to select it. It's in it, my Cancun pictures and it's this palm tree one. I just want this one on the title. I'm going to insert. I'm going to lot this picture aspect so it looks good and works on this rectangular. View. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to preview. Yep, that's what I want, and I just want to apply it. I don't want to apply this to all of them. I just want it on the title. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now I'm going to want to alter this because the uh, text is not readable at all. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to format my placeholder. And You probably can't see that, but I'm clicking on Format Placeholder. I am going to fill it a little with this gray color and I'm going to make it a little transparent. I'm going to click OK. Now you can see it's a little background on there. Now I'm going to change it to oh, Arial Rounded Bold and then a little bit smaller. And how about I change the color on it? I'm going to make it this uh, yellow, put this yellow, preview it, okay, do I like that? Sure. Um, I could add a shadow if I want, let's do that, let's add, oh, let's add this shadow, and as you can see that's not what I wanted, this added a shadow to the text box, so I'm going to undo that by pressing Control Z. I wanted to add a shadow just to the text. So here I go. I'm going to add that shadow. You can't really see it at this point. I'm going to click off. Shadow, shadow settings. That's what I want. I'm going to choose a little bit brighter color. Let's choose this blue. And how's that look? Can't even see it. Barely. Okay. So let's choose a brighter blue. And 
make it less transparent. There we go. Okay. And you can see it, you can move it around. So it's just subtle. There we go. Now, if I want this whole format to apply to this text box, I can go through this whole thing again, or I can use my format paint button. Um, I'm going to click on this box and basically copy the formatting using this format painter. And click on this box and it did the same thing. Now I'm going to adjust my text so it's smaller. About, oh, say a 32 or a 28. There we go. And let's close that. Let's preview it. Do I like that? That shadow's a little wonky, so I'm going to change that a little. Let's go back into the master. And actually, I'm going to make it a little more transparent. Preview, get rid of that. And I'm going to make this shadow just a little more subtle. And I think I might even change the font back to Arial a little bigger. And there we go. Click that. Change the font back to, say, 32. Close it. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's not too bad. I might want to make these boxes a little smaller, but I can do that right here. Now, as you can see, I have that pesky light bulb that wants to change my cases to uppercase, and I'm going to say, don't show me this tip again, because I don't want to. And I'm going to make this box smaller. It's just to highlight the words and not interfere with the image. So let's do that. that look a little smaller. There we go. Let's look at it again. And I still don't quite like that shadow, so I am going to nudge it down a little more. View it. Maybe once that way. As you can see, you can play with this forever. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So that, as you can see, applied to just my title slide. And these other slides are still pretty basic. They don't have any kind of background or anything. So I'm going to go back into my master. And let's get rid of the shadow. And now I'm going to make sure I'm on the slide master and I'm going to add a picture to this um, background. So let's see what I'm going to do. We are going to go to background again and we are going to go to fill effects, picture, select picture and I'm going to choose this beach one. Click OK. Preview it. Not bad. And there it is. Um, I believe that this isn't going to look very good on it, so I'm going to do a little bit of editing again on this. Change the box to a fill. And I think I want to choose probably like a sandy custom color. So let me play. You could play with this for hours. So here's can see down here that's the custom color I'm going to use. Let's make it a little more sandy like a beach. Okay. Let's click OK. Make it more transparent. Let's click OK. That's still a little too, too dark. Let's make it more. Click OK. Not too bad. And let's preview this. It's actually
actually not too bad as it is. Okay, let's get out of the slide master and look at all of them. Of course, I'd be changing a bunch of other stuff here, like the color of these links. And possibly I'd be rearranging a bunch of this, but overall the black text looks okay on this. Um, I do, if I did want to change the color of the links, which I probably do, let's go to Master again, and let's go to Color Schemes, Edit Color Schemes, and I want to Accent and Hyperlink. Hyperlink is a link to a web page, which is what all of those are. So let's change it to, say, a purple and then accent but and followed hyperlink a hyper, uh, followed hyperlink is what it will become after someone has clicked on it so well how about some kind of dark red okay um let's preview what that's going to look like those look pretty good and let me take a look at all this fills standard color let's apply and the only way we can see whether that works okay is by going to that slide with all the links. Much, much better. Now this font is way, way too small and I'd probably change it, but you can see that the purple looks a lot better than the default. Okay, so that's pretty much it on how to change masters and the main things you need to know our view master, slide master brings you to that. The title master is what the title slide would be and the other master is the one that changes all sorts of other things. Now you may want to do things like get rid of the date and time box on these, which you very well could. Um, you can make sure that those don't appear. You could add headers and footers to everything, but um, pretty much it, it creates a template for you and alters a template and changes all your slides at once, which is really nice. So here's how it would look and you probably aren't seeing quite everything because it's probably cutting the top off but believe me there's more than this and that's it so let's go back to this view and of course I would alter this a lot more I'd save it and Cancun let's save it as Cancun new master and save it that's it